Oh, that's bad. Magic Smarks coming out. <sighs> so, as you've seen from the first little bit, the Magic Smoke got out of my 36 volt brush cutter. You have to pull it apart and see what's going on. Hopefully it's just bogged up full of stuff on the inside and we can clean it out and it'll go again. Or it might be time to throw it in the bin. Buy a Milwaukee one. Get these few screws apart and we'll see what's going on. There's one piece off, we can see the top of the motor. Which is nice and warm in there. It's the next side off. Alright, time to see the damage. Oh wow, it's a lot less in there than I was thinking they would be. Oh, look at the windings. I can't believe it's direct drive. That's actually amazing. Direct drive and no cooling fan. G'day. So I've got the motor out of the uh, cordless whipper snipper. As you can see in there, windings are very black, all the uh, Coatings burnt on them, they all bonded together because of that I reckon. It still had alright brushes in it, see there. Let's see. There we go. Still had good brushes. Um, the only thing it had in any way of cooling was this little crappy fan on the shroud there. Where the, um, where the cartridge goes in for the whip snipper. But other than that, that's that's all it had. It's just an open frame motor with plastic brush holders. Uh, bearings still awesome. So where I probably stuffed up is I've been using too thick a cord in it, making it work too hard. If you've got one of these cheap, uh, this is an Ozito brand, but if you've got a cheap brush cutter, um, keep some uh, keep some small cord in it so it doesn't work too hard. It doesn't get too hot and don't be scared to give it a rest every now and again during a charge. With that said, it would run for 20 minutes on a uh, battery. So now I've got to work out what I'm going to do with a 36 volt charger and a uh, 3 amp hour 36 volt LiPo. But, oh, not LiPo, lithium 18650 battery. Should I uh, drastically expand on the size of it? and make a uh, power wall style thing because it's obviously got some kind of battery management and then connect it up to a UPS or two and then just use some surplus AC to charge it or yeah anyway that's what's going wrong with it didn't seize or anything it still spins free as a bird but uh, when I put some power on it out of the uh, big 8 volts there, it blew the terminal off. So yeah, shortened turn somewhere. Thanks for watching guys, catch us in the next video.